There's a chance of rain? Chance of rain, but not until <laughs> Tuesday. Okay. Wow. So this weekend's going to be really right. nice. And, and I know we get excited about these, these really nice sunny days, but yeah. the drought monitor, it's just right. getting worse and worse every single week. So let's take a look at the latest drought monitor that came out this morning. And the biggest change that we're seeing here is northern DuPage County, northern Cook County, and southeastern Lake County and northeastern Illinois, where you're seeing that orange shading there. That's a severe drought status that we now have in that location. Now, everywhere else that's highlighted in tan still listed to be in a moderate drought in this abnormally dry area stretching from Chicago down into southern Cook County and into Will County. That was a little bit larger. Now that's shrinking because moderate drought conditions have been taking over in portions of Will County and then down into Kankakee as well. So unfortunately, we could really use some rain around here and we don't have any major systems coming through anytime soon. Now, with that said, it's going to be a really gorgeous weekend. We're going to have lots of sunshine. We'll have temperatures that are warming up just fine. Your high temps today, we made it into the low to mid 60s. This is very seasonable for this time of the year. So typically for this time of October, your average high is usually around 62 degrees. So a lot of us were just a couple of degrees above that. Your five day forecast, we're going to be well above that as we go into this upcoming weekend. So tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 60s, low 70s expected by Saturday. Sunday, we're in the mid 70s. Same exact thing on Monday. And then after that, a cold front's going to come through, but it's really not going to change our temps all that much. We're still going to be in the upper 60s on Tuesday, then likely into Wednesday as well. So your temperature outlook, this is from October 23rd through the 27th, which is next Wednesday through the following Sunday. And we're still strongly favored to see above average conditions. So these warmer than normal temperatures, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Satellite and radar, we are nice and sunny today. We have high pressure and control, and that's going to be the story here for the next couple of days. Notice on Futurecast, we're keeping that southerly wind flow going tonight. That's going to linger through the day tomorrow, too. That's why our temperatures are having no problem warming up. This, in combination with the sunshine, is going to boost us into the upper 60s tomorrow. And then looking ahead to Saturday, Saturday morning, we're waking up in the 40s, so it's not going to be nearly as chilly as the last few mornings that we've had. So in the morning, it's cool, but then we warm things up just fine. We're in the 70s during the afternoon. And this frontal boundary, you'll notice it just kind of gets hung up further off to our west and our northwest. So as far as cold fronts go, we're not going to see one of those moving through until early next week. And that's where we see that very small rain chance coming into play, possibly Monday night into Tuesday. Right now, here's the view. We have south-southwesterly winds, 10 miles per hour. Temperatures are sitting in the lower 60s. And tonight, we're going to be dropping down to the low 40s in the city. Suburbs going to be dropping down to the mid to upper 30s. And we're keeping that south-southwesterly wind around. Your seven-day forecast, sunny skies tomorrow. Same thing on Saturday. On Sunday, we're in the mid-70s by Sunday and Monday. Monday's going to bring increasing cloud cover, and that's associated with that cold front that's going to be approaching. And then we'll have a couple stray showers being possible on Tuesday. After that, temps slowly start to decrease. We're going to be in the low 60s for highs by Thursday afternoon. Back to you. Okay, so if you follow